This is also a very important uh, uh, work that we have done in cooperation with the Brazilian uh, group of some patients because most of the Brazilian patients uh, are treated with the generic imatinib although generic imatinib is a generic definition because there are many generic imatinibs unfortunately and uh, uh, Italian patients uh, uh, are ma mainly treated with brand imatinib and generics uh, have been introduced only uh, recently and therefore there are not sufficient number of these. So we made a comparison between uh, these two group of patients in a different way and uh, uh, the outcome was definitely uh, better for those patients who were uh, indeed uh, treated with the, the brand imagine with respect to the generics. But this probably is not the reason for uh, the, the difference is the difference between the different population that we have examined in Italy and in Brazil. And we have established that the high-risk patients, subdivided in this case with SOCAS, are more, much more frequent in uh, Brazil than in Italy. The population, the median age population, is definitely uh, younger in Brazil than in Italy. Altogether, this contributes uh, to a higher, uh, oh, I'm sorry, a poorer outcome in the Brazilian patients with respect to what we see in the Italian patients. Therefore, we started just trying to compare generic versus brand imatinib and finished to say that uh, the outcome of the CML, unfortunately, is not similar, uh, is not a totally, um, we can say, equal uh, all over the world. But of course, uh, even in countries well developed with Brazil, but a different uh, social, economical, and probably different health system, different also, uh, we say, uh, demographics and so on, there are differences with respect to what we see in uh, Europe or in North America or in other countries in which uh, indeed uh, there are more stable conditions and so on.